In Escape from Tarkov we have a lot of very good, very neat guns. But as always, not everybody can be a winner. We have really bad guns. And today I want to show you my personal number one of bad guns in Escape from Tarkov. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys out there. Glad to see you again. And today we are taking a closer look about a very bad gun. Or in this case, a complete weapon system in Escape from Tarkov. And maybe you guessed that I'm talking about pump action shotguns. I also made a survey about what is your favorite weapon system in Escape from Tarkov and pump action shotguns are clearly the loser. But I also want to point out that the KS-23 is a very powerful gun in Escape from Tarkov right now. I'm talking about the 12 gauge shotguns, pump action shotguns in EFT. But let's say you're a big fan of pump action shotguns. The best thing you can get in Escape from Tarkov is the Remington 870. I brought a build for you guys, let's take a closer look. We have 23 ergo, that's because we have a suppressor. With this suppressor we will have a recoil about 150. I mentioned it many times that I like suppressed weapons in Escape from Tarkov. For a long time I played the Remington with the long barrel. You will have 40 ergonomics and over 200 recoil. So this build right here will cost you 120 150k. The suppressor is a little bit more expensive. You can get a Remington for 20 to 25k. It's very cheap because it's not good. Overall, the stock is a little bit more expensive. The grip is expensive, of course. You can change it and the suppressor will cost you 40 to 50k. And there is, in my opinion, only one way to go with a pump action shotgun. You have to use AP slugs. And the reason why is quite simple. So with a pump action shotgun and escape from Tarkov, you really have a low fire rate. You have a fire rate around 30 rounds per minute and that's not that good. Especially if you have some close quarter situations, you should avoid them because with a pump action shotgun you will lose in almost every situation if you are not able to hit your enemy with the first, second or at least third shot. And that's why I wouldn't play flat chat. Flat chat is nice if you have some semi-automatic shotguns like the Zyga because you have a high armor pen and some decent damage and for a high flash damage or some leg meta shotgun builds the rip, the shotgun rip ammunition is very great. In my opinion, I wouldn't run buckshot because you will have a much higher uh, flash damage with rip ammunition. AP slugs are very powerful. They have a high penetration, high damage, and they will overall increase your accuracy with your shotgun. But the thing is, you don't have a benefit playing pump action shotguns. Your fire rate, as I said, is quite low. In every situation, a semi-automatic shotgun is better in Escape from Tarkov. There is right now no reason to play a pump action shotgun. And I really have to admit that, that I lost a lot of money playing or making this video because I want to play the best what you can get, but nevertheless, it's really bad. So this video is kind of warning for you out guys. If you want to play normal Tarkov, if you want to experience Tarkov in a normal way, no challenges or anything like that, don't play pump action shotguns like the MP133 or the 870 or the Mossberg. Don't do that. There is no good reason playing pump action shotguns. So 12 gauge pump action shotguns are one of the worst weapon systems in Escape from Tarkov right now. I would rather take any semi-automatic firing weapon in Escape from Tarkov before I have to play this pump action system. Every pistol is better in my opinion, every assault rifle is better of course, every MP, but the fact that pump action shotguns are so bad is really sad because Battlestate Games did a great job by animating them in Escape from Tarkov. Reloading, quick reload, unloading, everything looks so cool with pump action shotguns, but in the end they are really bad. So there's only one reason to play pump action shotguns in Escape from Tarkov because they look cool. That's it. Every semi-automatic shotgun is better in every way compared to pump action shotguns. Try AP slugs, flechette or even rip ammunition in your semi-automatic shotgun but don't play pump action shotguns. So guys, what do you think about this video? Let me know into the comments below. And don't forget guys to like this video to show the world out there we Germans can win at least something and if it's your like I will really appreciate it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.